Ian's death again, and we're um, we're on our way to the Dump Church. <laughs> That's not a very nice name for it. It's a beautiful church in the middle of the Dump in uh, outside of uh, Sagundarbad in Hyderabad, India. And we're in a rickshaw. And let me let me just give you an idea of where we are. going to read our book. <laughs> we're reading it over the children of India. Yes. And we're kind of teary today, but we will try to get through it. We get to spend the rest of the day today with these beautiful kids from the Joy House Orphanage and the, and the kids that actually live in the dump. And I want to tell you, they wear their very best clothes. Uh, they are in shiny saris and beautifully dressed clothes. They wear their best to come to church. And we are... Um, we are honored and humbled to be teaching them. And so we're going to read our book right now. And they just yell when they see us. Yell and holler and welcome us in this amazing way. Like, like, we, we, like we are amazing, but they, they, are amazing. they are amazing. We are in the presence of princes and princesses when we are with these kiddos. So this is our read of the book, Here I Am, The One You Love. You start. <laughs> Here I am, Jesus, the one you love. Your presence is all around me, for I am your favorite one. India, you are God's favorite one. Your favor follows me every day of my life. When I wake up, before I open my eyes, I think, Good morning, Jesus. I love you. I listen for your voice because you love to talk to me. I look up to see your eyes. <laughs> I slept very well underneath the wings of angels. Thank you, Jesus, for watching over me and giving me excellent sleep. I want to stay in your presence all day long. Thank you for sending your angels to India to help India. Yes. I want to work with them. I know together we can do whatever, whatever you ask. That's right. I may wake with you singing over me. I can hear beautiful songs that remind me heaven is near. I can learn the songs you sing to me and sing them back to you. Jesus, I love you so, and I know how much you love India. <laughs> I agree with you today, Jesus. You have the best plan for me. I'm, you have the very best plan for my day. I want to walk with you and see you accomplish many signs and wonders and miracles today in, in India. India. <laughs> I'll say your word out loud. I'll sing your word all day. I will repeat it over and over until it's hidden deep in my heart. When I write your word, what you say becomes planted in my heart like a tree with very long roots that go very deep into the ground. The word of God is planted here. It's so good. You and your dreams for me come alive because I believe your word. When I ask you to work through me, you allow me to feel your presence like a warm bubble. I may sense heat around me and smell something very good. I feel tickles on my fingers and my arm and my head and my feet, or I might taste something yummy. I may see or sense the angels at work. I know this is your way of showing me who you are, your presence in my life, how much you love me. I'm listening for your clear, gentle voice. Sometimes you talk to me through a vision. It's like a movie, a mini movie in my mind. You can show me what you're thinking any time of the day. I write it down. I write down what you show me, or I draw the pictures. I would ask what the vision means. I know you can speak to me in many ways. I'm here listening. Listen, India, to what Yay, the word says man. to you today. <laughs> when I do wrong, when I make a mistake, when I hurt somebody, I may feel like hiding from you, but instead I run to you, Jesus. India runs to you, Jesus. Yes. I ask you to forgive me, for in your arms I find so much love that it washes over me and over all of my sins. I will not fear when bad things happen or something scares me, because you're with me. I know I can lie down and sleep well. It's you, Jesus, that keeps me safe. You've sent your angels to watch over me. I can ask you to show me what you're thinking, and when I ask, I know you'll answer me because you are so good to me. So good to India. Sometimes when I close my eyes, you speak to me by showing me pictures. I always ask you, what does this picture mean, and what do you want me to know? 
I wait and listen. Sometimes your answers are funny and you make me laugh. You always say really good things. And at the end of my day while I'm getting into bed, I say thank you. Thank you for the angels who keep me safe every day. Thank you for the things you're thank doing you. that I can't see. Thank you for loving me so much that you include me in your dreams. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I climb into bed and think, here I am, Jesus. If you want to give me a dream, I will listen. You will help me remember the details of what I see and how I felt in the dream. In the morning, you will help me write or draw the pictures of the dream stream. The colors, the numbers, the animals, the people, places, all of the things, the story. I love how you talk to me, Jesus. Your word, your pictures, your dreams, and the understanding you give are all an amazing, wonderful gift from your heart. When I close my eyes, I remember how deep your love is for me as I fall asleep. I think about climbing up in your lap, Yeshua, and I want to hear your heart. Jesus, I want to be the place where you find rest. <laughs>